The United States House just overwhelmingly passed legislation that is being called the anti-BDS bill. This bill condemns the BDS movement and vows strong support for the state of Israel. Now, the United States government's unrelenting support of the apartheid state of Israel is nothing new. But what some might find surprising are that lawmakers that are widely considered progressive heroes also voted for this bill. Representatives Tulsi Gabbard and Ro Khanna, who is the vice chair of the Progressive Caucus, voted yes for this atrocious anti-BDS bill. However, it is not out of character, and we will show you why. But first, let's take a look at this bill and what it says. The key points. It proclaims Israel is a democratic state. As we've covered extensively on If Americans Knew, Israel is the opposite of a democracy. It's an apartheid state that oppresses and ethnically cleanses the Palestinian population. This brings us to another point in the bill which proclaims that Israel must be a Jewish state. How could a country be a Jewish state and democratic? A Jewish state means exclusive rights or privileges for Jews. It means preventing the return of thousands of Palestinians who were forced from their home in the violent creation of the state of Israel, and they are now rotting in refugee camps in Lebanon, Jordan, and elsewhere. A state based on race or religion is not democratic, nor is it just. The bill goes on to condemn the BDS movement, which is one of the few tools that we have as members of the public, where we can say no, we will not contribute to Israeli companies or companies that assist the Zionist oppression of Palestinians. It's a tangible act of defiance. It's sickening and disheartening that despite all of the horrific atrocities committed by Israel and the massive campaign by all of you out there to bring this to light, that our government still overwhelmingly supports Israel and that supposed progressive human rights defenders stand behind this. However, it honestly should not be surprising. We don't have democracy in America. We have a system controlled by an elite ruling class. It doesn't make sense to expect true social justice advocates to emerge from our corrupt electoral and governing system. Tulsi Gabbard and Ro Khanna come from the Democratic Party, a party that has waged campaigns of imperial death and destruction around the world, and that have always supported the Israeli Zionist project. So the facts have been there for Ro and Tulsi, and it really shouldn't be surprising. You have a situation where Israel is dealing with a terrorist organization whose stated mission is to obliterate Israel uh, and Israel's uh, position of standing and needing to defend itself and its people. Uh, you're dealing with a terrorist organization that is seeking to exploit uh, the sense of morality that Israel has. So when you look at Israel standing to defend itself. I intend to carry on in their memory as we all work together in our shared commitment to a strong U.S.-Israel partnership. <laughs>